Notability is widely recognized as being one of the best note-taking apps out there. Its UI looks great and is simple to use. It comes with a complete toolkit and provides its users with countless templates through its Notability gallery. I'm John with Paperlike and I agree with all the above. I truly believe that Notability offers a complete solution for power users and beginners. And talking about beginners, in this video I'll go through 10 different tips to help you make the most out of this beautiful app. Starting with Notability's organizational features. The app allows for dividers and subjects, and dividers can be stacked. In total, you can stack up to five dividers and create various subjects to organize your notes by class, by activity, or projects, if you like. Now, just like I mentioned in the intro, Notability's note creation tool comes with countless templates and allows for a high customization of them. Now, this is all very well known, but one thing you might have missed is that you can actually change the spacing of your lines and grids on your pages. To do that from any note, tap on settings and on template settings. Here you just tap on the three dots and change the spacing to match your handwriting. Another cool thing that you can do within Notability is customizing your toolbox. Just tap on settings on your toolbox and move any icon around to the position of your liking. You can even delete and hide unused tools. You'll notice that writing tools can be duplicated so you can have them easily accessible with different settings. This is pretty cool and it kind of allows you to create your tailored favorite section. Now, talking about writing tools, Notability's highlighter comes with a pretty cool feature. With a highlighter, you can highlight text on a PDF. That's obvious. But did you know you can long tap on text and then just highlight a few lines with one stroke? Yeah, thank me later. Moving on to one of the features I feel is most overlooked. The Lasso tool has multiple functions within Notability, like it does in pretty much any other note-taking app. But in Notability specifically, it allows you to style your handwriting. You can change stroke style and width as well as the color after the fact, which I find really useful if you're looking to keep your notes pretty and tidy. Now, this one is not a tip per se, but it's the most useful and most notable feature within Notability. Audio recording used to be Notability's unique feature for a while. Some other apps have added this to their arsenal as well, but meanwhile Notability has upgraded the audio recording feature so much that it's still the best on the market. Well, in my opinion at least. Especially now that audio transcripts have been added. Other than that, I just love how it syncs to your handwriting seamlessly. When you play back the audio recording, what you wrote at the time lights up, which is really useful to know what actually sparked your notes, but it also works the other way around. So you can also tap any part of your note and it'll take your playback to the timestamp you wrote down that specific work. So yeah, this last one actually might be a tip because most people don't know that. Now, tip number seven is something I started using not so long ago. You might know that Notability allows users to use stickers to customize their notes. It's pretty cool and it comes with tons of packs already pre-installed. Now, did you know that you can actually save items as stickers within your app? You just need to select what you want to save with the lasso tool, tap on save, and it appears instantly in your sticker library. This feature is obviously really useful if you want to customize your notes with funny stuff, but it's pretty cool as well if you use the same words a lot. A good example for this is your signature. I saved mine, for example, so anytime I need to sign a document, I just import it into Notability and pop my signature right in. Now, this next tip is just a big attestment to Notability's perfect UI. I've said it before already, but it's really, really user-friendly, especially if you're a beginner. Okay, so when you're working on a note, it's displayed on full screen. And when you look at your page, you can think that you might need to tap on this arrow to go back to the menu. Well, you can, but you actually don't need to. Another way to bring on your menu is to swipe your finger from the left side of your screen. From here, you can navigate to any of your notes and even move your notes around, and that without leaving your note, which is pretty cool. And having my menu open here just leads me to tip number nine. Notability allows you for split viewing. Just drag any note from the side to your screen, and the screen splits automatically in two. 
either vertically or horizontally. That's actually something you can choose and I find that amazing. This is really unique as it doesn't depend on iPadOS to open multiple instances of the same app, which is also possible if you want that, by the way. Next and final tip is not for everyone, unfortunately. I finally got my new iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil Pro. And just when I got it delivered, Notability launched an update with a very, very relevant feature for Pencil Pro users. Before the update, you could switch to your eraser with a double tap feature. Now, no need to change tools to do that. You can just squeeze your Pencil Pro and erase right away. This is the first Notabilities feature taking advantage of the Pencil Pro. And let's just hope that soon enough we'll have tons of new features to talk about. And this, my friends, rounds up this video. But I'm curious, what tips and tricks do you use to be more productive on Notability? Let me know in the comments. I really hope this was helpful, but if Notability doesn't fit your bill and you're looking for another note-taking app, you should definitely check out my latest video. Thanks so much for watching and I see you in the next one.